comfort. It's not really looked like it's. Oh, oh shit! Sure. The jab with again just kind of stoops it again. This is a very good spell. Keeps those hands busy. And so far, he has come out good. Here. Sure. Uh, come out well. A lot of those punches, those last three punches, landed around the ears. But Devonshire, good body shot. Left to the ball. Golovkin versus Derevianchenko. Full fight highlights. Derevianchenko! Just up at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. He then put it on the line against Canelo. Triple G started fast, scoring a knockdown with 45 seconds left in the first round. Massive shots. He just looked to chip away on the inside of the first round of his previous world title fight. Derevianchenko found himself down right towards the end of the round. Flash knocked down in many ways, but it was a bad start nonetheless. And Golovkin just putting his hands together, and he's down in the first here as well. As we go into the final minute of the round, this is not the kind of start that Derevianchenko wanted. This won't be good. The back of the head, that's the gesture he's making. Sergey comes out aggressive in the second round, mildly surprising after the knockdown. Jab Golovkin, but he will mix it. He will jab, jab, and they they, they took up well. And there's a cut there, blood coming from the right eye of Drevianchenko. Again, Sergey moving forward when round starts, despite the knockdown and the serious cut near his right eye. Golovkin just tucking up a little bit here, just dropping those every elbows. Time, every, ch every chance he gets to touch the body of Golovkin, he should. Golovkin looking to try and use the jab straight right hand from Golovkin. Vaseline on the eye there i'm not sure the referee will take the jab on the gloves that one got through derevianchenko had an excellent fourth round in which he landed an assortment of combinations while triple g did not do all the much a touch in that third round yeah, i'm really am surprised at how obvious grogan is making can have a further look the doctor can have a further look after the completion of this cause that cut by by the end of the fifth round Golovkin had swelling under his left eye, and he had been hurt by a late body shot. Discomfort, it's not really looked like it's just... Good body shot. Left to the that body there, him. and Golovkin immediately the Drevianchenko looks for it again, and I'm not quite sure why Harvey Dot got in between them there. A little bit of room just to back up there. They spent much of the sixth round trading punches back and forth, as Golovkin's white trunks began to turn pink from Derevianchenko's blood. Nice left hand. Energy and enough hunger in the tank to... Now when a younger fighter is putting up to him and show that he is a champion, show that he has the... Seven rounds as Golovkin lands a couple of good... And just buffeting him on the forehead, Golovkin. Time in, box. I've said this the fight the continued at a spirited pace. Derevianchenko put combinations together to drive Triple G back. Keeps those hands busy. Goes to the body with the right hand, Derevianchenko. So far. Yeah, he's come out good here, uh, come out well here in the start. In that league left hand. I think the jab's keeper got a lovely up there for him to do that. The crowd could not perk up Triple G as Derevianchenko continued to plow forward. Very good spell for the Ukraine. Again, just steps straight back on him and he's really looking to put his hands together. Can try to get on the jab with again, just kind of stoops over, doubles over a bit. Catches another one from Derevianchenko. To the... A lot of those punches, those last three punches landed around the ears. Low at the waist. Nice uppercut on the inside. Well, we saw an amazing Sergey kept the pressure on in the 11th round, and Golovkin continued to have problems with him. This was not the dominating Triple G, who had ruled the middleweight division for so long. And I know it might not have seemed so panned. I think it hurt everything, though. He's been just cuffed around a bit here, short right. He's gotten away from the body. He needs to go back down there now. Punch the rounds are going between rounds. They're giving, giving him a real G up with... Derevianchenko was all over Triple G in the 12th, looking to make it a definitive round, but Golovkin fought hard too. Unless Derevianchenko can turn it around now with a, a final last minute. Derevianchenko just moved in slightly. Just looking to try and bust him up back towards the ropes, and there goes the final bell. Both of the fighters claim the win. Well, for the second weekend in a row, we've had a terrific fight to watch here on Sky. That was... Gennady.
Former ESPN commentator Teddy Atlas is one of many boxing fans who felt that Derevianchenko deserved the victory in the fight. He speculates that Golovkin might have gotten a nod with the judges due to the huge contract that he has with the zone. 